Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're spending more time setting up a task management app than you are actually in doing the tasks that you were meant to be managing within the app? I've definitely found myself in this situation and it's not a great place to be, right? A whole point of a task management app is that you can actually manage tasks effectively and do things and remember things and get on with work. So if you're spending more time actually setting up the tool and managing the tool, then it's kind of defeating its purpose. So I've come across an app recently called Tweak, which I think actually could solve this or at least contribute to getting a bit more focus. So I'm going to go through and introduce Tweak to you, kind of talk through the features, the functionality. If you want to jump straight into that, then please skip ahead. But before I get into Tweak itself, I thought it would be helpful just to talk through what I look for in a task management app, because it's different to every single person, right? But I have specific things that I look for in a task management app. So I thought I'll talk through that first, and then I'll talk through how Tweak seems to kind of align and do a lot of the things that I want a task management app to do. So if you're not interested in that, jump ahead. But for those who are interested, the first thing I look for is actually cost effectiveness or it being cheap, basically. I, although a task management app is central to my kind of capture system or productivity system, I don't really want to spend loads of money on it because it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Like the actual basics of capturing tasks is actually very simple. So I don't want to spend loads of money. I will spend some money if necessary but I generally don't want to spend like a, a quite an expensive subscription on it. So that's one of the first things I look for. Um, second one is the ability to capture tasks quickly. By that, I mean like having a, a, a very intuitive task creation process. The next one will be having some kind of inbox or a place that I can just dump stuff and not categorize it or not time block it or not put a date on it, but just put things in. And that's central to my kind of process of when I think of something that needs to be done or I think of something that I want to capture, I want to just do that very, very quickly. So having a space where I can just dump things like an inbox is what I would look for. Um, and then a calendar. I, I find that tasks unattached to time don't really make much sense. Like in my mind, a task has to be done in some kind of time slot. So the ability to time block, I really like. Um, but but also just to be able to place things in a week or be able to put things in time, I think is really important. So initially I'll capture things and put them in an inbox, but then at some point I want to do them and I want to kind of plan when I'm gonna do them. So having some kind of calendar or a way to see tasks on a calendar is what I really like. Another thing I really like is having a kind of broader context. So being able to see tasks within a context. What I mean by context is the ability to have certain things that don't change dependent upon time so you can see them all the time so you can see your tasks within a broader context this all kind of makes sense more when i get into tweak but um, anyway that's something i look for um, and then obviously compatibility so i, I want it to be cross um, platform so i want to be able to access it from the browser access it in an app on a desktop i have a mac i am a, a kind of apple person um, on my phone on my apple watch that would be lovely um, I think phone and desktop and browser are kind of like the key ones really for me. Let's get into Tweak. So Tweak is a very simple tool, a very simple um, task management app. And I found it really intriguing. Like on first glance, it almost looked too simple. Um, but actually, the more I played around with it, the more it's kind of shown me, oh no, these features that it has are quite specific and actually very useful. <laughs> so um, the immediate thing you'll notice when you look at Tweak is the view. It's not your traditional list view of, um, you're just on a list of tasks, but it's actually a week view. So it's more similar to a paper planner. And that's the immediate, like first thing that really stands out. And I'll go through the overall layout first. So you'll see a series of days, right? So we're in January right now. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here. And you've basically got a list in here. You can't really see it, but you've got these faint lines. I'm on dark mode because I like dark mode, but it has got a light mode. So you create a task in the list and it's underneath the day. Very simple. And then down here you have um, 
a someday space, and you've actually got three of these. Again, hard to see, the, the UI is very kind of minimal. But this is basically your inbox kind of thing. So you would put things here that you don't know when you're going to do. Um, so it might be task <coughs> that I want to do someday. And you could create more of those. So task two, task three. Very easy to create tasks. You just type them in, press enter, and then it drops down to the next line. So actually, it means you can create a series of tasks very quickly. Um, but you've got three of these, which is really interesting. So you could then put in something like goals or something like priorities. Um, and you can create tasks here as well. So that's that space. And I'll explain a bit more how that functions in a minute. Um, then you've got a month view. So if you click on the January 2025 up here or the kind of month date, then it will bring up your month view and you can see where you've got tasks against different days. And that's actually something I didn't actually realize was there. So I was playing around with, I've been using this for probably about two or three weeks now, and I had no idea this was here. So it's kind of hidden. It's the same in the mobile app as well. So if you click on, on the um, month, then you see the whole month. Um, what's really interesting is, so up here you've got the arrows to move by week by week. So if I move to the next week, you can see that your tasks have changed in your week. Um, but what stayed the same is these columns down the bottom. So your someday goals, priorities. These have stayed and these tasks have stayed and everything stayed the same. So no matter what we come on, this top bit changes. But the bottom down here stays the same, which is really nice because you can use it as an inbox. And then you've always got your like inbox of tasks there that you can then at some point drag into the week. So you can then take that and put it into a, a day and and bring it in. And you know, if you do use these for what I've put down here, like goals or priorities or that kind of thing, then actually you can see those consistently as you're working through your weeks. So for someone who wants to kind of have a a goal that they're aiming for or you know something that, that will keep them orientated on what's important. Actually, having this is really nice. So you could say um, in your priorities, I want to make sure I'm not overworking or something. Or I value family just, just as much as work, let's say. It's not a task, but you've, it's always there. So when you're in this space, you can always see these things. And I think that's really interesting and goes to my point earlier of like wanting to see the context. This is what I mean by context, like something that stays consistent and I can log things and have them in the same space. <clears throat> they're not tasks so much, but they're things that will help me know what tasks to create. So I think that's a really nice feature. Um, in the free version, you get two calendars. And what that basically means is you've got two like um, layouts like this. So you can keep things separate. So you could have work and home like I've got here, or you could um, you know, separate it by different types of tasks if you wanted to, if you had broader categories like that. Um, if you pay for the premium subscription, then you get unlimited amount of calendars and you can create as many as you want. Um, and then in terms of the actions on the task, so the functionality in the task itself, um, you can see when I, when I um, open up a task, it then brings up this task box and we've got the date at the top and we've got the, na the title of the task and then we've got some notes that you can add in. So you can say, uh, this is information about this task. You can format those. Um, on the premium model, you can then create subtasks. Um, so you can say, um, do this and then do that. Um, that's not available on the free one. So on the free one, it's just the tasks that you see in the kind of calendar layout. Um, and then you can do some actions. So you can delete it. You can select a color. So you can choose um, a color that shows up when you, when you click off it. Um, you can set reminders. I think that's just premium as well. Um, you can share a task, and that isn't premium, so I think you can invite a certain number of people to your calendar um, in the free model. And then there's some actions against the task. So you can move it to tomorrow if you don't want to do it today. <laughs> you can move it to next week, which will just move it to the Monday of the next week. You can move it to someday, so you can push it down automatically into that first column at the bottom there. You can duplicate it, 
And then for the premium subscribers, you can add a file onto it as well and you know keep some relevant files there as well. But on the free model, actually, you know, you've got your title, you've got um, the ability to do these actions. Um, you don't have the subtasks. You know, there's actually good functionality. Um, repeating tasks or having like recur recurring tasks like this, um, that isn't available on the free model. So that is a limitation. Um, but I haven't found that actually to be something I've like desperately wanted. Um, it might be different for you depending on how you do task management, but I haven't found it to be like essential. Um, so, you know, it depends what your experience is and what you like to do and what you don't like to do. Um, there is a search functionality, so you can actually search for tasks. So if I go up here, you can click search um, and then you can search and say to do and it will bring up your tasks. And that's actually quite a nice feature. Um, it's actually very quick um, and will find all the tasks that you want. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then if I go into settings, um, so over here, so for this calendar, there's specific calendar settings. Um, you can publish your calendar so you could get other people to see it or to be able to view it. And then you can have this automation here, which basically moves incomplete tasks to today. Um, so if you don't get anything done in on today, then when it starts the next day, which is be tomorrow, right? Then it will have moved those tasks from yesterday onto today. Then you can also sort completed tasks. So that will basically, if you complete a task, it will push that task down to the bottom of the list of that day, which is which is nice to have. And then also you can set up a calendar integration, which is which is really nice. So so the way that works is that you basically end up with these tasks on your days and it syncs with your calendar. It is one direction, so the calendar events sync into Tweak, but if you make changes in Tweak on that event or on that, that t task, it won't sync back to your calendar. But if you change stuff in the calendar, it will sync into Tweak again. So that's a nice feature, and for this automation of moving and complete tasks the, the next day, that doesn't apply for anything that's synced through the calendar. So events don't kind of get moved if you don't complete them, <laughs> um, which is good. And then I think that's it. I think that's it. So hopefully you can see see the functionality of it. So, so you know, you create tasks here. Um, you can move them, drag and drop them to each day. You then check them off when they're done. Um, it is very simple, but actually has all of the key things that I definitely want from a task management app. So I think the key things for me, or the things I really like about it, is the simplicity of it. Like, it is very, very simple. It's not getting in the way. I don't have to search for functionality. I'm not trying to, you know, automate a load of things. It is very much like, well, just, you know, jot down the things you want to do <laughs> and get on with them. Um, I really like this someday space down the bottom. I really like the three kind of different columns. If you pay for the premium, you can create more columns. So you could create additional, you know, you could have six, eight, nine, ten, twenty 10, 20 different columns down there to capture different types of things that then stay consistent across all the weeks. That's really, I really like that feature. Um, and then I like that the majority of the actions that I anyway need are in the free version. So you know, these actions on tasks, I think, are really nice. Um, the fact that I can, you know, even if I can't create subtasks, I can create a bullet list, right? So I can create task one, task two. So I can kind of get my subtasks in there without the kind of premium feature of having these subtasks in there. So I like that a lot of the functionality is actually very good on the free model. So if you don't want to pay, um, then it's fine. Actually, the cost is pretty good in terms of their subscription. So yeah, I, I really like it. It's really working for me. I, I think particularly the ability to see across a week um, and then this ability to actually track things over time, I think is great. So it's not going to be for everyone. Like I'm very aware of that. This is very, um, you know, it's, it's for people who like minimalism. It's for people who um, who want to just get things done. But I think that should be everyone in some ways, like some of these tools, unless you're some kind of person who can not get distracted by the functionality, they can be a little bit fun function rich or feature rich. 
um, and mean that actually you spend more time managing it than actually doing the work. So I think for people who really want to get things done um, and really want to concentrate on the work and not have the tool get in the way of that, I think this could really work. I think it's really interesting. So I'm going to carry on exploring it, carry on kind of looking into it. I don't know if it will replace my current tool. So I currently use TickTick. I don't know. I'm, I'm, hmm, I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. So maybe it will. <laughs> I'll give a long-term review down the line once I've kind of used it more and I'll see whether it sticks. But that's TickTick. Uh, that's not TickTick. That's Tweak. Wow, all these... Task management apps to start with a T. Tricky. Uh, well, that's it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if this might suit you. And um, if you're interested in learning more about how a task management app sits inside of my capture system process, which is um, a way that I kind of systemize capturing things across all of life, then have a look at this video somewhere. <laughs> and um, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.